It's not just supermodels, you too can make men get obsessed over you. If you want to learn how, let me introduce you to Gia. You might have caught her on Netflix's Korean dating reality show, Singles Inferno. Now what's unique about Gia is her incredibly rare, quiet personality with feminine confidence that's next level. And she brought this vibe the moment she set foot on that island. And the truth is, each one of you two can do this. She had most of the guys chasing after her from the start, and they didn't stop until the very end of the show. Gia has got that unique look that draws people in, and let's be real, not everyone can copy that vibe. Plus, she is not exactly the poster child for perfection. But you know what's seriously attractive about her? It was her attitude and how she rocks it on the show. Those are the kind of traits that can flip your whole perspective on life. So. Without further ado, we're going to break down the four key things in Gia's behavior that make her so appealing to men. If you love this content, let me know your support by subscribing to the channel. The first key to Gia's irresistible charm is her quiet confidence. Now, confidence, as we know, can come in different flavors. And Gia has a few cheeky moments on the show, playfully calling herself cute and sexy, but what sets Gia's confidence apart is its subtlety. Take, for instance, her skill for initiating and maintaining eye contact. She doesn't flinch or look away. Even when she's showering someone with compliments or flirting, her power is in those soft, lingering gazes, often paired with a warm smile. Let's be real. Locking eyes with someone you are attracted to can be a nerve-wracking experience for many because it makes us feel exposed and vulnerable. That's why so many folks tend to avoid it. But if we can master the art of holding eye contact comfortably with anyone, regardless of the attraction factor, it can open up a world of possibilities. Not only does it help us find chemistry with more people, but it also broadcasts a unique kind of quiet confidence. When you can make eye contact with strangers and especially those you're attracted to, it sets you apart. It's the kind of thing that can make a man's mind wander into fantasy territory. And the good news is, this is a skill that can be developed and honed. You have heard it a million times. The first impression is the best impression. Well, on Singles Inferno, Gia nailed that first impression game. The minute she set foot on that island, contestants and viewers alike couldn't take their eyes off her. She pretty much became an instant fan favorite. And as folks got to know her better, it turned out she was not just nice, but also a blast to be around. In your day-to-day -day life, it's no different. Making a killer first impression can make all the difference when you're meeting new people. Whether it's a date or a job interview, leaving a positive mark on the folks you're interacting with is your golden ticket to standing out in the crowd. You don't need Gia's looks. Just some attitude and confidence can do the trick for many people. Here's the next magic trick up Gia's sleeve. She's a master at not giving away too much or over-explaining herself. Now, you know how talking is kind of our thing, ladies. When we want to connect with someone, we tend to spill the beans and reveal a lot about ourselves through words. And that's all well and good when we're chatting with our gal pals, but men don't quite bond in the same way through words. It's not just about what you do, but how you do it. Gia's attractiveness is partly because she leaves a little mystery. You see, people are often drawn to what they can't fully figure out. So don't reveal everything about yourself all at once. Let them be curious and let them want to learn more. If you're looking to make a guy completely obsessed with you, it's crucial to speak to his fantasies. And the best way to do this is by holding back on the info dump, especially with your words. Gia's got this art nailed down. She never spills too much all at once. And when she does express her feelings, she does it with simplicity and honesty, just a little at a time. This leaves the guys appreciating every bit she reveals and wanting more. It's like a slow buildup and that longing for more. That is another secret ingredient that keeps men hooked on her. It's all about creating that sense of anticipation, like they're on the edge of their seats, waiting for the next puzzle piece. When it comes to men, less is often more. It's all about leaving them with that sense of suspense and anticipation. 
So if you are aiming for a man to become completely obsessed with you, it is essential to reveal your feelings bit by bit using short and sweet gestures instead of launching into a lengthy monologue about your emotions. That little mystery and those sweet surprises go a long way in keeping their interest piqued. Now let's talk about looks. Gia is undeniably a beautiful woman. She knows how to rock her feminine style and keeps herself well-groomed. And visual appeal is the baseline for getting a man's initial attention. But on the show, all the women were stunning in their own right. So what sets Gia apart? Let's be real. On a show where all the women are stunning, like in Gia's case, it's not just about looks. It's the extra something she brings to the table that truly makes her stand out and makes men obsessed. To make a man swoon over you, you need that unique combination of confidence, the art of not revealing too much too soon, and those hints that keep men coming back for more. She's got the whole package that leaves men completely hooked, and it's a lesson in how to stand out in a crowd of stunners. It's like the icing on the cake that turns heads and keeps them utterly captivated. So remember, it's not just about the surface. It's about what you radiate from within. What sets Gia apart, just like it did for icons like Marilyn Monroe, is how she carries herself. It's easy to get caught up in looking good, the aesthetics and all, but here's the reality check. The world isn't a still photograph. We're perceived by others in motion, and that's where our mannerisms and how we carry ourselves come into play. The way you move, the grace in your gestures, and your overall manners are all crucial when it comes to making a lasting impression. It's in these subtle details that you truly stand out and ignite that sense of wonder in a man. That wonder can be the catalyst for something deeper, leading to an obsession, not just with your appearance, but with your entire being. So ladies, take a cue from Gia, because there's a lot we can learn from her subtle allure. You see, it's not just about how you look, it's about how you carry yourself. So let's break it down and turn this into some practical advice. First things first, your posture. Sitting up straight with a tall neck radiates confidence and grace. It not only makes you look more poised, but also makes you feel more confident. So whether you are at work, on a date, or even just watching TV at home, work on keeping that posture in check. The key is to embrace your femininity in your movements. Keep your arms and legs close to your body when you sit or lean in. It adds a touch of elegance to your movements, making you appear more refined. Fast and jerky movements can sometimes come off as nervous or anxious. Slow things down, move gently, and you'll give off an air of tranquility and self-assuredness. It's all about that quiet confidence. The bottom line here is that Allure is not trying too hard or following the latest fashion trends. It's about embracing your unique self and showcasing your confidence and grace through your actions. So whether you're at work, at a social event, or just going about your daily life, remember that there's something truly captivating about subtlety and the unspoken charm that sets you apart. You've got it, so own it. Gia's allure is all about those small mannerisms that are hard to pinpoint, but undeniably captivating. She has got this unique ability to hold herself in a way that's interesting and attractive, especially when she leans back with men. You know, there's a saying, I don't chase, I attract, and Gia embodies this to the core. She makes it seem like the guy is the one pursuing her, and that's a secret sauce for making a man obsessed with you. When you give a man the chance to come to you, it makes him feel like the relationship was his idea. It's like planting a seed in his mind that he needs to pursue you. Healthy, masculine men appreciate this dynamic because they don't want to feel smothered. A healthy, masculine man has to earn your attention, with emphasis on has to. It's like a challenge that they're excited to take on. When you are the kind of woman who sets this standard, it shows that you have discernment, and that's a healthy feminine trait. Gia had a clear vision of what she was after on Singles Inferno, and she didn't budge on her standards. Right from her intro clip, she made it crystal clear that she doesn't mess around when it comes to dating. And honestly, we could take a page out of her book. 
As the show went on, it became evident that Gia didn't wear her heart on her sleeve during her dates. It's not that she didn't care, it's just that she had some pretty high standards. This approach gave her a certain air of mystery, and when she did show her appreciation and acknowledge the guys, it made them feel like they had uncovered her new layer, like unlocking a new level. One thing we can definitely take away from Gia's approach is her ability to stay cool and collected, not letting things get under her skin. It's a quality many of us could benefit from incorporating into our own lives. We've all been there. Those little things sometimes have a knack for hitting us right in the feels, or the haters manage to get under our skin, and it's easy to crack under the pressure. But being unbothered doesn't mean we don't care or that we're emotionless. We're all human, and it's perfectly okay to feel hurt or get in our feelings when necessary. The real power comes from having a strong heart and a resilient mind that help us bounce back. Our secret weapon to keep moving forward. And you know what's the best way to really get under the skin of those haters? It's showing them that we couldn't care less. Because when it all comes down to it, we know what's best for us. And that's what truly matters. Let's not lower ourselves to other people's standards. Instead, let's hold them up to our own expectations. Because when it all boils down, we are the ones who might end up getting hurt in the process. As they say, there's no need to applaud a fish for swimming. It's what's expected. So let's aim high and stick to what we know is right for us. When it comes to dating, don't settle for just good enough. Aim for someone who's real and genuine because you deserve nothing less. If the person you're dating isn't the right fit, it's time to move on and search for someone better. Someone who truly matches what you're looking for. In any relationship, there's a balance of give and take. It's essential that you're not the one constantly making the sacrifices and carrying most of the burden. If your standards are deemed too high by someone, well, that's a sign that they might not be the right match for you. So, in a nutshell, it's about letting the man take the lead and showing that you're a woman of value who can't be won over easily. This dynamic can make you the kind of woman that men absolutely obsess over. Remember, you deserve someone who appreciates your standards and meets you where you are. Making the first move or signaling your interest to a man is not only perfectly fine, but can be empowering. In fact, it's often encouraged to show that you're approachable and open to connection. The old school term dropping the handkerchief may sound a bit dated, but the concept is timeless. It gives a subtle signal that you're open to being approached. You can start with something as simple as a friendly smile, maintaining eye contact, or engaging in small talk. Just like Gia, breaking the ice doesn't mean you are chasing or pursuing a man. It's about initiating a conversation or a connection in a friendly and approachable way. You can talk about shared interests, ask for their opinion on a topic, or even offer a genuine compliment. After you have made that initial connection, it's perfectly okay to lean back and let the men decide whether to pursue further. It's a way of giving them the space to express their interest, and it allows you to test their level of enthusiasm. Remember, it's a two-way street, and it's important for both parties to show interest. What Gia teaches us is that it's all about creating a welcoming and approachable atmosphere while maintaining a balance of give and take. You're not chasing or pursuing. You are simply inviting a potential connection. So go ahead, drop that handkerchief, and let your natural charm shine. The right person will appreciate your openness and reciprocate the interest. But after you've shown your interest, it's crucial to lean back and let the men decide if they want to pursue further. This step is all about allowing the natural dynamics of attraction to play out. I'm underscoring the if they want to pursue part because you're not chasing someone who hasn't genuinely taken an interest in you. If a man is truly interested, he will make an effort to pursue and get to know you better. Gia's approach showcases the perfect blend of femininity and strength. Being feminine in behavior doesn't mean you are compliant or without opinions. Instead, it's about having strong standards, a reserved nature, and being unafraid to be honest when the situation calls for it. 
One of the most commendable things about Gia is the way she carries herself confidently. She radiates confidence because she knows her worth and she's not afraid to own it. She's young, successful, and undeniably attractive, and she carries herself accordingly. Now, some folks might interpret this as arrogance, especially when it comes from a woman, but here's the deal. Confidence in women is not being arrogant or calling yourself boss B. It's about demanding the respect you deserve. If you diminish yourself, people will treat you as if you're not worth much. But when you carry yourself with confidence, others take notice and treat you accordingly. Gia had a clear understanding of who she is, and her actions reflected that. The lesson here is to believe in yourself, be the best version of you, and let that confident attitude shine. Remember, it's all about creating a space where genuine connections can develop. By being open, approachable, and true to yourself, you're more likely to attract people who appreciate you for who you are. Keep being you, keep being genuine, and the right person will take notice and make that move if they so please.